Hey there, everyone. Merry Christmas to start out with. Um, and right off the bat, I'm going to have to change this around because I just don't have the room that I was hoping for. So, sorry. Santa Skull, gotta go. Now, this is something I've really gotten out of practice of doing, and I want to get back into it because it was very calming, and that was the singing bowl. Well, not killed that fast. <laughs> but there you have it. Now, if I haven't waken up your dogs within a three-block neighborhood, <laughs> then we're doing pretty good here. All right. Uh... Well, Lady Nighthawk pops in and says hi. And that was sweet of her. She didn't ask for a reading, but uh, she popped in and said hi. So, uh, let me give her a little something here. Okay. You have any decisions to make in life? For Lady Nighthawk, can you give me the answer to any problems she might have? Okay, this is going maybe. Well, that's never good. Maybe. And it's pull, pulling more toward this way, which is the uh, tarot card of strength. So it says, maybe, Lady Nighthawk, your answer to whatever question you might be having right now, any problems, is maybe, but you need to be strong. If you ever want that to turn around to a yes, stay strong. Sometimes you really have to stick to your guns. Okay, next up that I asked for one is Jill. And so, Jill, I'll read your card here in a second. Um, but I'm doing this on the side. Merry Christmas. If you have a question to an issue... Let's see if uh, we can give you an answer. For Jill, is there anything she needs to know? Will she get any uh, Oh, Jill? That is pulling toward no, and it's also pulling towards somewhere between justice 
and the Wheel of Fortune. Now there's a combination going on there. Um, justice is like the balancing. Um, there might be a decision you have to make and it might not be a popular one but it's the right one that you have to do and the wheel of fortune means things are kind of going up and down but right now they seem to be going in your favor so I would say the answer is no But by going with no, it looks like luck will be on your side. As well as maybe the law, even. The, uh, Jackie just stopped in to leave a message. I always love to read these messages. Um, she doesn't want a reading. But... Uh, Jackie, if you have a issue in your life, something that involves a yes or no question, let's see if we can get an answer to it. Is there something Jackie needs to know or uh, will be told? Does she have to say anything? What is that? What is uh, it that she needs to say? Yes. It's pointing toward yes. Oh. It looks like you might have a tough decision, Jackie. Because it's pointing toward yes. But the tarot card also behind it is the tower. So, uh, whatever you say yes to has risk to it you know it won't be uh as simple and cut and dry as you would hope there are some risks involved all right now uh kim fitzgerald and uh, she wants one um and for you kim Merry Christmas, if there's a, a question you have. Um, now, if you have a yes or no question or something you want to know, spirits, you want to help Kim out here? Will there be a question? Or is this... Something she needs to say. Oh, I, okay. I feel a draw toward the no. Oh. Okay, it's kind of uh, rotating uh, on the, around the no. Like it doesn't really quite want to say fully no. So I would I would guess that might indicate leaning toward a no answer. And once again, luck will be a factor here.
Now we have Sherry. Sherry, if you have a yes or no question, I hope so, because um, I'm uh, going to see if it wants to answer one for you. Sherry nods. Do you have, uh, spirits, have any uh, anything you want to tell Sherry or anything she should know? Oh, my. Elbows on the wrong spot. Okay. Sherry nods. What's that? Uh, wow. It's it's going from maybe to I don't know. Real, real vague on that, Sherry. So, uh, it's a state of confusion. But even if this doesn't work, didn't, since this didn't work out really, we're going to give some other free, free readings out along the way. All right, now Jill wanted a reading from one of my old favorites. The Gilded Reverie, Le Nomand. And I don't know why people don't choose it more often. Unless it's because of the name or something, I don't know. But the, the deck is beautiful. Gilded edges and everything. First up, you have 37, which deals with clocks and time. Next up, 33, a key. And the last one, 41, a wishing well.
Now, the clocks in this reading refer to the, the metering out of time. Uh, the clock is ticking and life is transito transitory in nature. So we should savor each moment and live life to the fullest. This card is a reminder of our immortality. The hands of the clock will only go forward into time and we must go on regardless. It is a card of time management and the owl reminds us to use time wisely. Now let's consider our next card before we take that into uh, consideration anymore, which is the key. And behind it, behind it is a bird cage. Um, the solution to the problem can be found by being in possession of the key card. It both unlocks and secures depending on which way it is turned. The answer is within your reach. This is a card of liberation, although it can also be a tool of captivity. And so, you know, it's saying basically that even a gilded birdcage can be a beautiful home, but it can also be a prison. Inside is a rose symbolizing the mystery that unfolds as the key unlocks it. It is also a symbol of love, the most common of all mysteries. So it's saying time. Is approaching. For something. Something mysterious. Possibly love. Back to the well. This card is about looking deeper into an issue. You may think you know all the facts, but there may be more to the story that you are not seeing. The image suggests hidden depths. The rope entering the well represents the importance of keeping one's center. At a deeper level, the well card could be a sign that you have hit rock bottom, and now the only way is up. If not, if other nearby cards indicate that you've been facing difficulties, now is the time for healing. Well, these don't, don't say anything about difficulties. Um, but it also has to do with wishes. But with it also comes a warning. Be careful what you wish for. Be prepared to work hard for what you want. This card, this card also refers to a goal that is attainable, but still requires more effort or the commitment of additional resources. 
Unlike the Clover card, which can bring unexpected luck, this card reminds you that you have to plan and work hard for your rewards. While the card may encourage you to explore untapped resources, it may also caution you against draining all your resources at once. Okay, so uh, something is approaching. The time for something is approaching, and it's telling you, warning you, keep yourself centered to this all, and be prepared for some hard work coming up to get what you want. It looks like the time's coming in your favor. but you're going to have to work a little bit for it. And always, always be prepared for things to go wrong, too. Because it looks positive. It's a very positive reading overall. But it can still have that possibility of uh, something not going right. All right, Jill, I hope you know what that, that meant. I hope it made some sense to you. Now, if you hang out, Jill, I'll give you a second reading coming up from another one. But first, I want to get to um, I want to get to this deck, which was requested by Ken. The Love Oracle Cards. So, Kim, let's see what these say. And I am so sorry these are taking so long to do. I have started on these. I, I did them all the other day before I took my fall. <laughs> and went through, you know, it took me an hour, hour and a half, something like that to do them all. And, Went to turn it off and saw I never even pushed record. <laughs> so I sat here talking basically to myself <laughs> for an hour and a half the other day. Okay. You have... The Chaser, the Butterfly, and Talking. Uh, 
Okay. It looks like uh, you might be involved in a codependent relationship here. Um, there's some sort of fear of abandonment issues going on. Strong fears of abandonment. That's kind of something that's how it's been, it's been in the past. It's kind of changing now for you. Um, the butterfly is saying the relationship is evolving to the next phase. Uh, your inner child is healing. Anything that might have been hurt in the past is healing and there's even personal growth you know character growth and talking it uh, it, it shows you're interested uh, conversing more um, Perhaps a message you've been awaiting will arrive. Uh, it it uh, says text, call, email. But it warrants about hovering too. So what, what it's saying, it sounds like it's it's saying, okay, uh, things have changed. They've done a big turnaround here. Like a butterfly, you've blossomed. And now there's this new creature going on. The butterfly, this new but with that comes also, like it says in here, growth, um, a maturing of relationships, of, of life. And talking is a big part of that. Communication is a big part, part of that. Just don't take it over the top and make it into a, like a hovering type situation. Make Keep it nice, friendly, open conversation, communication. And uh, it looks like things should be going pretty good there, Kim. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Or makes sense, at least, to you. And I will be giving you, too, another reading here in a little bit if you uh, stick with me. Okay, Sherry, you you asked for a rune card. I don't know if you had meant the runes by accident and picked this one instead. But I will read you a rune card. And then... If you stick out for a while, I'll even grab you a room reading. Of 
some sort of rune. I don't know which type yet. Let's see what we have. Ah. You have Northeast. Okay, this is talking need, necessity. There is a major need for you right now. And time, time is of the essence. Okay, picture it like this, uh, like sand flowing through an hourglass. Like sand through the hourglass. So are the days of our lives. But no, we see there's no stopping the flow of time. It just keeps going. And so you, you must submit yourself to the rhythm of nature, the natural flow of things. And there's no... No changing some things. But it's telling you to discipline and a sense of duty are your allies. Everything has its moment. And The Nocives card rune is basically a moment of waiting and reflection. And the benefits of this is that it helps you, it helps keep, uh, it helps keep you disciplined and focused and is excellent, um, for people during times of test and trials and things like that. It's all right, Sherry. I hope that makes some sense. I will uh, get back to you with some room readings here shortly now. I just think, I think we need to explore that a little bit deeper than what the card's saying. Okay, Jill, you picked the Gilded Reverie deck. Now, for some reason, the unicorn deck comes to mind in, associ in association with that. So let me pull you a unicorn card here and see what the, that perhaps might have to say. Hey, Jill. Choice. It says, not a swing. Hey, choice is not a swing. Transformation, up and down, high and low, side to side. Which way to go? Life can take us through 
twists and turns, rises and falls, all lessons to learn. You encounter a playground and swing on a swing. You remember your youth and the joy that it this brings. And you swing high and low, the scene transforms. Through your ups and downs, the swing is a unicorn. Okay, just just think of it this way. Up and down, high and low, you can choose your own pace. You know where you need to go, and you can make it go there. And it recommends you go in some place and where you like to just have fun and just go there by yourself have a good time and kind of while you're there meditate on the way you move through things and stuff and how you pilot through all the ups and downs and turns but remember life is a playground choose the pace that suits you best best but most of all have fun all right jill that's a good card i like that one have fun now kim since you requested one on love, I'm going to throw in a spare one for you from Whispers of Love. If I can get them out. There we go. Okay, turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. Think of loving moments. Well, thinking of loving moments will enable you to open your heart. Drawing on a memory of love reopens and heals your heart to receiving love. It is important to keep your heart light on and broadcast your love out to the world. Discover ways to convey extra love to each person in your life and those around you. If you think the world is a positive and loving place, then that's what you will experience most of the time. Getting back to a place where you being Getting back to a place where you believed in love will bring more love back to you. A picturesque woman faces the future with a hand placed over her heart as she recalls a tender memory. The feathers adorn her hair are messages of love. It may be that someone or something is trying to reach out to you. Feathers may prompt you to understand that infinite people cherish you. Breathe in your heart and imagine its light is a beacon that calls to those who you love. I 
All right, Kim. Okay, now we're back. And uh, it's uh, Sherry's turn for a. I was going to give her a rune reading. Okay. Let's see what we got. First of all, you have uh, Degas, which refers to the midday light or uh, joy at when the sun's rays are at the, their greatest splendor. Um, and it talks about uh, butterflies that resembles a butterfly. And how it's a symbol of uh, beauty and a, a fluttering moment. Um, it's a moment of joy and happiness, falling in love and prosperity, light and wisdom. Everything is illuminated. The truth fills our lives. Our dreams finally come true. It's time to commemorate them and celebrate together with loved ones. Everything is harmonious in the dance of life. There is no trace of aggression in our behavior. Okay, now Dagaz can help us overcome stumbling blocks and feelings of guilt. It can make us feel light and beautiful ready to see, seize the opportunities that life offers us. Okay. Next we have Hagalaz. Okay. Now in the middle of this joy and happiness is a hailstorm of sorts. Some sort of aggression. Uh, it's like a wind, a bad weather, uh, a dangerous, destructive force at a time of crisis. And it reminds us that the forces of nature can be violent and unpredictable. And that all we can do is accept. and rebuild on top of the ruins. The card is tied to our darker side and our aggression. We must know them in order to be able to control them. Hagalaz helps us become aware of our deepest impulses and protects in moments of crisis and change. All right. Um, okay, next we have destiny, risk. This rune is associated with the inevitability ability and fate. It celebrates the beauty of the unexpected and highlights the fact that if one is not willing to take risks 
one cannot realize one's dreams. Excessive fear of the unknown par paralyzes us, blocking our plans. This card urges us to abandon ourselves to our destiny. This verso helps to open a, us to the world and to others. It enhances our empathy and makes us, us eager to learn new cultures and alternate ways of living. And the last one is... Fehu. The last one is reversed and Zeus, meaning mouth or word. The rune is linked to words and language. And Zeus literally means mouth and has to do with all that is conveyed orally. The word is a powerful weapon. It can seduce deceive or dispel the darkness of illusions all facets of communication are considered in this card exchanging ideas teaching comprehension lies deceit flattery and secrets and it says this card this rune can help us when there is an exchange and verbal communication. Although that is in the reverse situation. So apparently, uh, verbal communication seems to have broken down a little bit on that one, perhaps. Um, Maybe, yeah, it looks like more needs to be said and talked about. All right, Sherry, I hope that made some sense. You can't quite tell my bruises on that hand anymore. These two fingers are all bruised up. But you can still see that one where I fell. Just took a nose dive. <laughs> my leg gave out. And I, I don't know what happened. Next thing you know, I was in the flower pots. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Um, happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. if you're celebrating the Yule or anything of that nature. Hope it's a wonderful one, whatever that celebration may be. So peace. Believe the spirits are out there. And you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.